Well, the entertainment in Branza just keeps getting better and better. I'm going to prove it to you. Say hello to my good friend Mark Aldred, a much celebrated musician, singer <laughs> himself. How are you? Good to see you. Doing great. How you doing? I'm doing great, and I'm doing great because you and I are sitting in the Copeland Theater here at the Meadows. Yep. It's quiet back here now, but on this very stage, Mark, you're bringing some acts to town that I cannot believe. Tell me about it. Well, I know we're going to do some rock and roll and then love classic it. rock as well. Yeah. And then we're going to go into country. So we're going to have a little bit for everybody here at the Copeland Theater. A little bit for everybody. And by the way, there is not a bad seat in the house at the Copeland Theater. It is an intimate setting, but you still get a really good crowd, a really good vibe. Let's start the vibe off with Kiss. Almost Kiss. Almost Kiss. Almost Kiss. Tell yeah, me about they're, it. They're the number one tribute band for Kiss in the country. Uh, they're actually endorsed by Gene Simmons himself. They were they appeared on his uh, Family Jewels show, his uh -huh. reality show. Yeah. Uh, Gene has handpicked them, one of six groups, and they played Arrowhead Stadium. They played all over the country as the number one Kiss tribute band. And if you like Kiss, you're gonna it's gonna be like a mirror show. I mean, they, they, an awesome job. They're going to be amazing. Endorsed by Gene Simmons doesn't get any better than that. Oh, no. And you're going to pretty much have a front row seat, regardless of where you are. Can't wait for that one. That is coming up on October 10th. Right. Um, Molly Hatchet? Yeah, are Molly. Are you kidding me? Molly, the, the, the Molly Hatchet. The 80s joy is losing it right now. Molly Hatchet, yeah. <laughs> you need to come here and lose it too, I right? know, I know. But uh, this is the, the Molly Hatchet flirting with disaster. And they're going to be right here on the stage October 23rd. Okay. Man, that's going to be a good one. Flirting with disaster. Doesn't get any better oh, than that. You don't. Know. All right. Now, if you are a country fan, T.G. Shepard is going to be here on the stage as well. And that's coming up, according to my little cliff notes here, uh, October 30th. Right. Tell me about T.G. How's he doing? Uh, he's doing great. You know, we've been visiting. He's, he's an, an awesome guy. Yeah. And he's pumped up about coming to Branson. A lot of people know back in the day, Folgers Coffee endorsed him. Yeah. So if you like NASCAR, you see his name on the Folgers car. And then he's, I think he had like eight number ones that went straight number one in a, in a row. What other country artist has done that? That's outstanding. So he's just a legend and an icon. He's going to be right here. He really is. I've never met the guy, but by all accounts, he's, I know he's a, an incredible singer, but it's just going to be great to be able to see him here. And finally... Someone you may not have heard of, but you need to know, Dion Pride. This is Charlie Pride's son, Dion Pride. Tell yeah. me about Dion. Dion's a great guy. Him and his wife's coming in. He's going to be doing a lot of his dad's songs. So if you love his songs, Dion's going to do them. Then he's got some originals he wants to do for you as well. So he's going to put on a great show. So he's on the countryside as well. So we got two rock ones coming in and then two country. Like you said, something for everybody. Yep. By the way, Mark, you have something new coming up and really exciting here in Branson. What have you got going on? You can well, tell me, right? I, I can tell you. We you can, can actually let anything. it out the bag now. There you go. Let so, the cat out of uh, it. So starting on November 13th at King's Castle Theater. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't know where that is, that's Bobby Vinton's old Blue Velvet Theater here in Branson. Right. Okay. It's got 1,600 seats, beautiful theater. Well, we're going to bring Jukebox Live right there November 13th every Saturday night at 5 o'clock. And we got, not only am I going to be part of that, mm -hmm. we got David Brooks coming in, five-time piano player of the year. Wow. He did uh, Jerry Lee Lewis and the Million Dollar Quartet. Right. He's going to be in the show. We got Phaedra uh, Clemens, who has opened up for Ronnie Millsap, Tracy Lawrence, mm -hmm. big country. She's coming in as part of the show as well. So that's November 13th at King's Castle Theater, and tickets are on sale now for that. What kind of music are you going to, you were rattling off some of the bands that you're going to play. <laughs> what, what all are you going to be playing for that show? In our show, you're going to hit a jukebox live. You yeah. never know what you're going to hear. It's like the best jukebox ever. Yeah, you may hear Def Leppard one minute and B.J. Thomas the next minute. Back to country of Loretta Lynn, back into John Cougar Mellencamp, uh, Def Leppard. Love uh, that. You know, Love it. David does Elton John. Yeah. I mean, you know, you don't know what you're going to hear in this show. So there'll be music for everybody. That's why they call it Jukebox Live. All right. So if people want tickets to any of the above, how do they do that? Uh, if you want to see Almost Kiss, Molly Hatchet, T.G. Shepard, or Dion Pry, go to www.copelandtheater.com. Okay. And you can get tickets right there. And if you want to see our show, Jukebox Live, debuting November 13th, go to kingscastletheater.com, and you can get tickets there or go by their box office. I'm so glad we have live music back, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, I absolutely love it. Mark Aldred, thank you so much. Great to see you. You bet. Come rock out in Branson.